I give this house a nine out of 10. The one that you're missing is the robot inside the pool. I don't like the robot. <laughs> Alex, what's going on, buddy? What's happening? Not much. You gotta see this one. This is a beauty and a half. Let's go. It's a gem in Lytton Park. It's, uh, it's got it all. It's compact, it's got a pool, it's got four bedrooms, three bathrooms upstairs, powder room, basement has a gym. You can make it a theater room or a nanny's room. It's just come and see it. Okay, welcome. So you see, you have everything. Foyer, living room. Over here, you have a huge dining room. So if you have big functions, dinners, you can do it. The floor is bit, this is tile on the floor. It looks like hardwood, but it's, it is tile. And it's like a carpet. You don't even have to get a carpet here. Everything is done. Beautiful closet behind you. The closet's done. Great closet, front hall closet here you have. Um, the division between the foyer and the living room is with glass. So it's got so much characteristics. Panel to the ceiling. All the ceilings have a characteristic into them. You can see the up and down. It's got the uh, crown moldings in them. Wall sconces everywhere. Check out the powder room. Powder room is for the size of the house. This is all custom made. So you will not see this sink in any other house. This is the stone that's been cut for this, uh, for this sink. You have a, a tankless toilet in the back. Control for home automation here, um, uh, which controls uh, the lighting. You can add, as I said before, you can add your audio, your blinds. Everything you can add it to it. Even your pool, you can add it if you wish. Over here, the TV goes. Beautiful display. Look at the family. Look at the size of this family room. This family room is huge. Okay, you can set it up the way you want to, and there's enough room to put a section all the way you want. Look at the breakfast area. Breakfast area is very large. Enough space to have the whole family here. You can put a round table like they have, or a rectangular table, however you want to set it up. But the main thing, something that I love here, is look at the curb here. This is beautiful. This is rounded countertop. It's so classy with the light fixture, the, the ceilings minimal, but they have the division in them. You got book match, statutory marble, going to the ceiling. Look, even the top is, is uh, book matched and done. You have the, the best appliance. Look, this is the La Cornu oven. This is one of those top of the line. If I turn it on, you'll see why they say. Look at the power of, uh, that comes out of it. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great stove. Dishwasher, garbage, huge sink here. Then you have a pantry. If you come here in the pantry, you'll see you have a nice sink here. This door opens up to the dining room. So for your dinners and everything. And behind it, they put a very nice featured mirror. It's a frosted mirror, but it's, it's something very unique and gorgeous, actually. There's a fridge freezer Sub-Zero. Right now we can't open them because there's no, the fridge and freezer are not there. They're all back ordered. This it's supply chain problem that we're having globally, it's affecting all the building uh, materials and everything that comes into construction. That's why and, uh, all the prices have been raised. There's a sub-zero fridge freezer coming here, a microwave and an oven, uh, an extra oven down here. This house has every single thing you want in a house. Okay, let's go upstairs. You'll see another amazing thing about this house is the master bedroom. Come and check it out. Notice all the paneling. It goes up to the ceiling. From the main floor to here, you have all paneling all over the place. And the featured glass uh, they have here, this is all custom made. The glass on top of the uh, sky, at the bottom of the skyline, I guess, is beautiful. So you have one bedroom right in front of your master, but then you enter your master retreat. You got a his and hers closet. His is masculine, hers is feminine, and the ensuite here, and you have another closet over here, extra closet. So much storage in this house, unbelievable. When we go in the basement, you'll see so much storage in this house. Because when you buy a house nowadays, the architect designed something, they don't think about the storage. These guys, they thought about storage. So you have luggages, you have skis, you have hockey bags, everything, there's room for every single product that you have in the house. Okay, look at this. this is all fluted wood here. This is not just your just MDF flat panel, they put it up or just drywall. This is all fluted. They're very, uh, and 
it's high uh, gloss. Look at the drawers here, Alex. You have one drawer here, and inside it, there's another drawer for every single appliance or beauty supplies that you have, you can store them here. The shower, again, another beautiful shower. The bench is, uh, this is onyx. You have a rain head, you have a handheld, and you have place to put your shampoos and your, your soaps in here. It's a curbless shower. It's got heated floors here. The driveway is heated, the basement floors are heated, radiant over here in the bathrooms, like every other house, they're heated, electric heat. You have the bathtub, look at the view in the back, the pool. You come check out the master bedroom. Master bedroom, oversized bedroom, all wallpapered, comfort ceilings, moldings, and a beautiful window that overlooks the backyard there. This house has the Aria vents. As you can see, they're flush with the drywall, moldings and comfort ceiling, as it says, speakers, Beautiful light fixtures. In this house, they spent a lot of money on light fixtures, and that's what brings a house alive. The light fixtures that you have all over the place. And again, uh, you have a full view of the pool from here if you want to watch the kids. So now check out the basement. You come to the basement, it's a complete basement. Radiant floor heating. These are old tiles that look like the hardwood upstairs. You have a wine room. If you come here, you have the furnace room. Everything, if you notice, they've been tiled. It's not like they don't leave it as rough, rough concrete there. You come down here, this is the laundry room in the basement. You have a huge laundry room. You have storage in the space under there. You have a storage room or, again over here. I'm telling you, it's a lot of storage room for the size of the house that we have here. In the basement, you have a huge rec room, okay, for the kids to hang out, you put a TV, or if, even if you have a party, pool party, they can come up here, down here. You have a gym, special gym here with the floors, padded floors. It's a big gym, actually. You can put a couple of machines here, your treadmill, your bike, your workout equipment, and you can have a great in-home gym. Okay, and now, finally, the best part of the house. You have the backyard with a swimming pool, fully landscaped with the lighting. You have special lighting under the trees. There's a Japanese maple tree. You come here, so you have a great size pool here. It's, a, it's, a, it's not as deep as a pool as you find in the big houses, but it's a great pool for partying. You even have a lazy vacuum there that's, you know what, we, it's been turned on since we've been here. It just pushes everything from one side to the other side. I don't know how they're gonna clean it, but this is something you have to buy a better one to put it in the house when you buy it. This house, this lot is a 36 by 133 and a half in the best, best pocket of Lytton Park because it's not too close to Avenue Road, it's not too close to Bathurst. It's got the best school district. It's John Ross School District with the Lawrence Park Glenview. It's the great school district. Even if you wanna put them in the private schools, Havergill is a walking distance. St. Clements is walking distance, UCC is right down the road, but you gotta get it right from your parents. You have B BSS down there, everything is close by. It's, uh, my favorite is a 36 foot lot. The, the good thing that you get in these smaller lots is that the builder can afford putting the money to, up, to all the upgrades for you. You have the pool, you have the home automation, you have the paneled walls, you have everything. We just came down from a, down the street, we have another listing there. That one there, it's a 50 foot by 135 as well but it doesn't have half the features that this house has, but it's just big. The builders have a budget to put in a house, right? They buy a land. They put the same budget over here and they get much more features out of it. Again, location, budget, all these things come in, in hand and then they give you a good product. That's how you get the good product. You have to buy the best land, good sized lot, and you have everything you want in it. I give this house a nine out of 10. The one that you're missing is the robot inside the pool. I don't like the robot, <laughs> but it's a, it's, a, it's a great house. It's complete. Even the roof, it's an aluminum uh, roof, so this will never expire. There's nothing. The windows are uh, aluminum clad, wood inside. You can change the colors. Everything is complete. You have a walkout. You have every single thing you want in a house in here on this lot. Okay, guys, so I have to go to another appointment. I just wanted you guys to see the inside of this house. It's a beautiful house. Don't forget to subscribe at the bottom here, press like and comment. I need your comments, I need your subscriptions and your friend subscriptions. Don't forget to subscribe to this. I'm gonna go to my showing, hopefully I'll sell the other one and this one will be next from these videos.